Hi guys, Vanita here. Thought I'd just jump on and do a quick rooting video for you guys. That's something that we've never done before. So let me show you what I have on my table. Today, I am gonna be starting Miss Mia. She's gonna get her hair done. And as you can see, I have already done her outline and it gives me um, the direction in which I want to put the hair in basically so when I root her I put her on her little pillow like this and that's how she lays I also have on the table my favorite little rooting tool here and it has a 42 gauge three crowned needle inside of it so basically there are three little notches here that grab the hair as I push it through the vinyl I have my toothbrush it's a soft bristle toothbrush which I use to keep her hair out of the way when it gets to be too much I also have scissors so that I can cut the hair as I go and this beautiful, beautiful premium mohair that I purchased from Miss Linda Tack on uh, Facebook. This is yearling and it is slightly wavy. I usually get curly, so and this is the first time that I'm using this type of hair, so we'll have to see how it turns out. Hopefully, it'll be great as all her hair is. And I also have this conditioner and water mixture which I use sulfate free conditioner uh, mixed with warm water and I just give it a shake and it works beautifully on the mohair okay so without further ado let's get started okay so I have cut some of the mohair into about like a size like this because I don't want it to be too long because then when I cut it, it'll be wasting hair. So I always cut a little bit off like that. And we always wanna root from the cut edge. So this is the edge here that I cut. You put the hair down to the vinyl. You take your rooting tool and needle and you stick it in there just like that. And you pull it out and you just stick it in I usually do maybe one or two sticks and then you pull it out you see the hair is there I don't know if you guys can see that or not but there's hair coming in there now her vinyl is very soft so I did not have to warm her head um, and the reason why is because, like I said, her vinyl is very soft. Some kids have hard vinyl and it will be very difficult for the needle to go through. And a lot of people get have their needles be broken because they're working with hard vinyl and not warming it up. So generally, if I have a head that isn't as soft as hers, then I would take a sock and fill it with just plain white rice, put it in a microwave with about a half a cup of water and warm that sock up. And then the sock will go in here in order to warm the vinyl. And that's how you warm a head. You can avoid having a lot of broken needles that way because these needles, they are very sensitive and they will break. So you just keep going. And I try to do it in order so that I'm not over covering myself, holding the needle at an angle just like this see and just stick it in 
I'm gonna do it a couple more times just so I can get a few more strands in there. And then I'm gonna wet it and you guys will be able to see it a little bit better where I'm putting this hair at. And I'm not sure why I always start on the side, but that's something that I've always done. I don't know, it just works out better for me that way when I lay her on her side like that. Maybe that's why I do it. Okay, now, in order to remember which way I have the hair, I always put my hair up like that and the needle end up so I know exactly which way it goes. I'm gonna take a little bit of the conditioner and spray there and then you can see the hair let's see you can see how it's gotten on there there and it takes many 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 hours for me to do a whole head just like that and that's how it works I will come back as I get further along so that you guys can see my progress. Thanks for watching.